All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Seven Days to Die playthrough. So, unfortunately, if you've watched my GeoGuessr uh, series earlier this week, you'll know that I had problems recording the Blood Moon episode and a bunch of other episodes after that. My recording software just crapped out on me, and I was unable to record... Well, I recorded it, but I wasn't able to keep any of the footage because it got corrupted. I recorded an episode for the Blood Moon, and then I recorded uh, another episode after that, and it corrupted. It was going fine. It even stopped. I could click on the recording, but as soon as I clicked on it, um, the, the program would die, and all the, the, the footage that I had was suddenly unusable and corrupted. Very irritating, especially in a game like this where you can't just rewind all your progress and start over. So unfortunately, we're on day six now, and I mean, we've done six, seven quests since I last saw you. Um, we went through the Blood Moon. It was a success. It wasn't really bad at all because it was the first one, and we had plenty of ammo for the weapon. Um, So, yeah, we've got a few upgrade. I got a level two bat you know level four shovel level four axe some upgrades for our armor not too much though and uh the jeep still going strong need to get some gas soon and just got a bunch of stuff to sell from the quests and looting all the the yeah just from looting all the the pois that we went to I am here. What am I here for? Trader Joel. Was that the south one? Which one is that? Oh, that's the north one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure. Honestly, those episodes, kind of a blur to me. I just know that we did some quests, we did a blood moon, and now we're here looking for jobs. Hmm. Is infested at night? Oh, I think it's just highly infected. Okay, cool. I'll do that. Yeah, so I again, I apologize. I really like to keep a certain level of quality on these uh, these playthroughs and this channel specifically. So when I can't deliver that quality level, I, I do feel a little bad. But I hope you guys will understand. And I'm using a new software now, and it seems to be working very well. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys. So we're just going to continue on playing like... Nothing ever happened, even though it may have. Um, oh, yeah. To combat, you know, my leveling, I don't want to go too overpowered with leveling. I turned down XP multiplier to 75% because I was just leveling pretty fast. Like, I would get, like, a level and a half um, an episode. I am now level what? Hold on. Level 16. So I won't be leveling up quite as fast, but I, I still have plenty of levels. Um, and we got three points to spend, so let's figure out what I should get. I think we're going to invest in pack, you know, at least one. Machine gunner, I'd like another point. So we'll get that at the next level, which we're about halfway through now. And yeah, let's hop on over to this infested area. And I think with the money we get from this quest, I'm going to grab some gas for the Jeep. Because, I mean, we, we're doing good on gas. I think I filled her up to about 70% or so around the Blood Moon time. And, uh, you know, still going strong. I haven't had any, but maybe like 75 to 100 just from random barrels. So, going strong. And we've gone back and forth a couple of times. There was... Actually, let me go ahead and slant. So this is where we were for the Blood Moon originally. This cabin up here. And then we went down to here. And then we did some quests. And then we went back up here. And then we went down here. We No, this is the Blood Moon. This is the other area that I had. Um, yeah, so I went just back and forth. Giant triangles all over the place. Going all over trying to, trying to just go through the episodes like normal. But it's okay. These things happen. Nothing can be perfect. So just keep on having fun. And here we are already at the infested cabin looking area. It's snowy. I like snowy. 
I like snow, but I don't have anything warm, so that's the only problem. I will just sell this. Very nice. Let's go look around. What you got over here? Oh yeah, I got quite a few magazine bundles too as quest rewards. So I got... Let's see, how can I do that? Yeah. Got a bunch in harvesting, salvage, and... I got a few in machine gun. Then we got some workstation one and food and armor and medical. So we got a little bit of everything. It's pretty spread out. One thing we don't have is the miscellaneous uh, weapons and whatnot, but we're not really using that. I do want to upgrade this machine gun, and I do want to build a workstation sometime here so I can make um, a better machine gun. Not that this one's not good, but you know we're going to be out leveling it soon. Oh yeah, this baseball bat, amazing, amazing. I think it was only like 3,000 uh, Dukes at, I think it was, I think it was this one. I went back down to this one and got it. Cause it was, it wasn't, it wasn't the episode right after the Blood Moon, it was the one after that. Yeah, 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 so the Blood Moon, I did the Blood Moon and then I did a couple quests in that episode, it was the episode after that. Why did I just do that? Okay, I I meant to go inside and I just I talked myself into starting it early. Oh well, it'll be fine. Damn, you're a tough son of a gun. Die, there we go. Ooh, military boy. Boom. Yes, I know, I know, I gotta take shelter, it's cold as shit. What happens when I get too cold? What happens there? I forgot. Ooh, I love doing that. Knocking out people. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. I gotta watch my stamina. Aw, oh, crap. There we go. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, dude, this is like Call of Duty zombies. I've never seen them crawl so much. Dude, they just fall downstairs. You're supposed to hold the handrails, man. What are we doing? All right, let me... It's in this room, yep. Holy crap. That was a good grenade. That really got all three of them down there. Way to go. What do we have here? Armor crafting. Yay, I'll take armor. I love me some armor. I need to get me some better armor. But I'll do that in a little bit. I gotta prioritize. Right now I feel like we're good on weapons though for sure. Yes, I'll take these bullets. Yeah, I'm trying to use my bat as much as possible because we used a lot of bullets uh, during the Blood Moon and a lot. We had some restocked. We had a quest reward that was like 100 bullets, and then we used those right away on the next couple of quests. So I need to be careful. Oh, my God. We just got a whole nother set. Oh, dude, this is fantastic. Well, the uh, seven days gods heard me. Steel club, that'll be great because we're definitely going to need those well, eventually whenever we build a, a, a steel club. But at least we have the parts for it. Don't need these boots. I need to go sell for real because I have no room for anything. Ow, you little butthole. Oh, damn, where'd y'all come from? Where did you come? Is this a horde? Is this a horde entering my house? What the hell? 
Wait, seriously? Is this really a horde? Like, I'm not even playing. There's like seven random zombies in my house. Okay, that was very... Oh, dude, yeah, seriously, it really was a horde. They all came through this door. What What the heck? What the heck and heck, man? Oh, headshot. I love it. Dude, that was so uncalled for. There we go. Boom, off your head. Let us head back to the trader. We have arrived at the trader's house. Come here, Joel. Give me some good rewards. I just did all that hard work for you. Something gratitude, friend. Hmm. I think I'll take the ammo. That's very good. Let me do some more jobs. Now fetch right down the road. Yes, please. Oh, it's raining. Wow. I was thinking it was already dark. Like, there's no way. Oh, I meant to go buy gas. No, it's fine. He's not going to reset till tomorrow. Yeah, day seven. Yeah, yeah. He'll have it when I get back. This is going to be worth it. Boom. Oh, my God. What a blood splatter. Slap a mole. I'm king of the playground. You can't touch me. No backsies. You know, I'm gonna pop a bandage. I keep getting these hits on my face, and I know they hurt. Wow. That was that was pretty gruesome. Nice. And every dude collectively said, nice. Salvage tools, something to sell. Hmm. I was about to say it's relatively quiet. That's strange. Nobody in the bathroom. We oh, I was about to say, where do we go from here? And there, that's where we go. Into the bathroom. Um, more stuff to sell. Mm, it's almost not even worth the space, but we'll see. Okay. Die, he did. Where is this at? It's like right on the other side or something. Oh yeah. That's fine. I'll I'll come back for it. Give me good explosives. I'm I'm very partial to explosives this run. I do love my molotovs and I do love my pipe bombs. Ooh, I do love some. Uh, what are these called? Lock picks. I don't know why I forgot that. I do love me some lockpicks, too. Oh, crap. Why is there always a floor that falls beneath me? I am encumbered. Going to eat and drink okay what we got got a dead zombie got a nice stash damn we ain't playing around with this shit come on big bertha come on big bertha ow you spun and attack me how do you have that much energy no. No. No means no. Oh, damn, Bertha. Whack. Now, leave me alone. All right. 
Not too shabby. Uh, Alright, cool. Not too shabby at all. Thought I heard something. Assault rifle. Hell yeah. Uh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. I never really liked the tech crates. They're just not... They don't speak to me. All right, I gotta go grab my supplies wherever they might be. I have no idea how to get in this room. I, oh, there's a little key over there. It's probably something from like the attic or some crap. Oh, oh, it's the stairwell. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I did not go up there. Okay, cool. Yep, this is what I was looking for. All right, let me go back out. Let's go on to the trader then. Oh, this is what opened up. Nice. I want to get to like tier four and five so we can do some of those like apartment complexes or the giant skyscrapers. I don't ever really get that far. So that would be fun. Let's go. I'm going to have to sell a bunch of stuff too to uh, clear my inventory because I am encumbered and my Jeep pretty much is, is full at this point of junk. So that's what we're going to have to do. Actually, hold on. Let me do this. Okay, and now we're going to take some stuff and sell it. Let me get eye contact with this airdrop real quick, and then we'll go sell. I just want to mark it on the map. Okay. It's directly in front of me. Come on, pull up the map. There we go. Which way am I facing? So it's got to be, like, right here. All right. Got that on the map, or at least the direction, so I should be able to find it. Usually it's about four or five hundred meters at the most. So that that looks like about right. So I've got all this stuff to sell. Okay, cool. Let's go sell, and then we'll come back and finish off selling everything. Traveling. All right, give me some good. You go, friend. Whatever you I did say something good. Say and I mean, I guess you gave me something, so I should probably take this leg armor if I'm being for real so that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna wear this oh yeah I got a got a little triple mod pack the last episode from one of those POI stashes I'm gonna put this back on oh, I got two slots now nice all right I need to sell a bunch of stuff all right, he doesn't want this baton, but it's 119 dukes, so I'm definitely going to sell that at the other guy. Just because normally I would get rid of something like that, but it, I mean, 100 is 100. If it was like 20 or something, I wouldn't care, but that's thats a little bit more. I think that's worth caring about, you know? All right, so that's it for the first wave. Let me go back to the Jeep, grab the rest of the crap on top, and we should be good to go. It's always interesting to see what they want and what they don't want. Alright, I'm going to get rid of that. He doesn't want that. Do you want this pipe pistol? You don't. How about all this ammo? You do want that. And the shotgun shells he wants. Lucky goggles. I'm going to sell, sell. And that looks to be about it. Does he have anything interesting? I don't think so. He didn't have anything before. But you never know. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I will buy gas. I'm going to buy the rest of your gas, honestly. That's really not much in the grand scheme of things. I had, what, 15,000 dukes? What do I need armor-wise? I don't think I really need anything. Like I feel like I'm pretty good armor-wise. I mean, the only thing low is, like, the scrap gloves. Do you have anything like that, sir? Padded gloves. 
Nothing scrap though. So I'm thinking that we're just done with this right now. More jobs. Fetch and clear. I'll do that. Which direction is it? Oh, it's that way. Okay. All right, let's go work on this fetch and clear quest. I'm going to go do this quest real quick, and then I think I'm going to try to head over to that airdrop. And, ooh, whoops. What the world? And see what we can find over there. Hopefully, it'll be worth it. I'm not sure if the airdrop contents change with game level. I mean, one would assume that they would, but I'm not 100% sure. So, we will see when we get down there. Because surely it wouldn't be like level one stone tools or something, right? Right? I'm, I'm not sure about that. All right, we got a school bus. Whoops. I am such a terrible driver. Nothing's going to change about that, unfortunately. Home of Jack Canada. Okay. I don't have any repair kits. I don't. But I do have gas. Hey, 70% again. I'll take that. No repair kits, but I do have glue, duct tape, and I don't have any forged iron, so I'll have to get some of that next. Okay, cool. Fetch. Lag. There we go. Knock out. Knock out. This is a fun game. Knock. Knock. Spear. Um, scoped. Assault, assault, and club. Oh, perfect. The two best ones. I'm surprised I'm only level 13 out of 75 with clubs. I really am, but that's all right. Well, that was pretty interesting. Man, there really are a lot of zombies up here. Why is this? Oh, it's an attic staircase. I was so confused. It looks like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. Oh, nice. Another loot bag. It's got a random crap in it, too. Smack. Ooh, that was scary. I was on the edge the entire time. Working stiff crate. Give me the goods. You disappointed me. Do better. Um, you know, very underwhelming. Although I know it's still technically early game. More medical stuff. I don't think that's quite my highest, but it sure is one of them. Oh, smart. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, cool. That was a very easy quest. The quests really aren't that long. It's just usually I, I double down and do everything twice to get more uh, stuff, but... I'm not really in the mood to do that today, so it kind of makes it just a tad bit easier. Let's go to the the thingy, the, the air thingy. See if we can find it over there. All right, we're coming up on the area that it should be in, although I'm not 100% sure where it's at, unless it's just a little bit farther, which I'm going to keep going down. It was like south-ish. So maybe we'll be able to see. Ow. Dumb rock. Dumb driver, too. Ah, there it is. Okay. A little bit farther away. Probably about 7, 750, but we found it. That's the important part. All right, what we got? Something good, something good, something good. Well, 
You can sell it. Oh wait, actually, that's that's the gloves we like. Yes, I was just saying we needed some gloves. Rifle, food crafting. Very cool. Let's go over to this. We'll add these little things. What is this again? Noise. Yes, that's what I want. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll add these on those. Perfect. So sell, sell, wear. I'll go ahead and repair these, too. That way they'll sell for more. Don't need these. The only reason I'm selling these uh, first aid kits is because we have some in the Jeep, I believe. Let me double check. I forgot to put it in park. Yeah, we do. We have a whole stack. Come back here. What are you doing? I definitely put you in park. All right, we got another red tea. We're good on food and water. Um, let me put this antibacterial thing in here. We don't need this. We got a coffee, honey as well. So looking pretty good. Oh, I just remembered. I also said that every blood moon going forward, we'd up the number of zombies. The default is eight zombies or eight blood moon zombies. I bumped it up to 10. And I think the next Blood Moon is Day 8. I think that sounds right, Day 8. So Day 8 will have 10 instead of 8. And then after that one, I'll do 12. And then 16. And I think I think 16 might be the highest. If not, we'll keep going by 2 every time. and just Until we're completely hoarded with so many zombies. Which is the fun part. You know, we may die. But as long as it's entertaining, who really cares, right? Give me something good. Or give me the next tier. That'd be nice. Literally anything. Ooh, claw hammer sells for 300 foe to foe. That's really good. I'm going to do that instead. Doesn't really have anything for me. Hmm, not a very good one. So I think... Should we do this buried supplies? I really don't want to. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to do this. I'll just go back to the other one. I'll just head on back. Matter of fact, let's see what we can... Can we make the forge? We can. Should we make a forge is the question. I think we should. We should make the forge here and we should make the workbench like at the other trader or another place. So we're not technically making a base. But we are making necessary buildings. So what did we need? We needed a log. And some of these and some of these. So how do I make a log again? You have to make logs. That's so weird. Why can't I just cut one down? Very weird. 50 cobblestone rocks. Who the heck keeps cobblestone rocks? How do I make cobblestone rocks? Oh, let me just type in 50. Okay, well, that's weird, but whatever works. All right, we are done with the rocks. Let's make a forge. 22 seconds on that, and then I can get some... Actually, I'm going to get some wood while we wait. All right, we got a little bit of... Just enough to to have some where's that cooking pot yeah I'll put it right near the cooking pot actually wouldn't that count as a base I'm gonna put it over here there you go put it over here so it's technically not a base I don't want to be known as a liar so technically it's not cool we'll let that smelt and that should be good Probably just do half and half to keep the, the stacks close enough. And then we can make some forged iron. Ow, 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 ow. No. Bad zombie. Behave. 
Yes, and we'll have uh, we we'll have all the forged iron, and we can make some weapons, which will be great. I'm really looking forward to making some of these better weapons and tools. All right, so we've got the claw hammer to sell. Let's just put all this stuff in the corner because I'm not gonna sell it all. I'm not gonna be going to the trader quite yet. I'm gonna just stick around here for the night and uh, probably end the episode off in just a few minutes while I set everything up. There's a zombie right there. I gotta take care of her. Get off my car. What are you doing? Turd. It's not your vehicle. We've got six steel club parts and three machine gun parts. I I think the first thing I'm going to do when I make a workbench is I want to make a machine gun. Because I can make... Yes, AK. I don't care if it's level two. Just the fact that I really, really want to upgrade a weapon. Because that'll go from 36 to... I don't know, probably like 40, 45 or something. Plus the attachment. So that's what I require. Workbench needs 25 nails. We'll have to make 100 nails and 25 forged iron. Let me go ahead and set up the nails. And then whatever we have left, I can just turn into forged iron. So nails, I want to make 100. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that now. And that'll be the first thing we need. And then we'll go chop some wood and do all the other things that we need. Um, so I'm probably going to end the episode off there. I'm going to collect what I need to collect for the workbench and just leave the rest in there smelting. And the next episode will be by the other trader um, just to take a trip down here and see if he can go. Oh, yeah, because we got a opening trader routes because we finished tier one over here and he sent us down here. So maybe we go down here. He'll have tier two quests for me to do and he'll send me somewhere else because I know there's more than two traders on this map. They just keep sending me between each other for some reason. That'll be all right. But yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, st sticking around for this episode. I know we had some uh, technical issues for a couple of episodes in between this, but it's going to get better with the new software I'm using, I hope. And yeah, we should look forward to some more seven days in the future. You guys have a great day. Peace.